our video number three in our last video for the runoff of this 15 ton cooling coolers. Uh, you can see we are getting close to that three degrees differential below the 60 degree set point. So 57.4. And once we reach 57, that's when it should turn off. It is in hot gas mode right now which is an algorithm within the controller to control the hot gas to give kind of a, a false load to leave the compressor running as much as possible and steadily. So over here, on the optics, we are actually, uh, that keeps a little bit of a tighter bandwidth or a tighter window, and we are actually in heating mode there, the heating elements on to bring that up to the, you know, within one degree of that 70. So we got to our 57 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll be a little bit of an overshoot. But we'll get up to a little bit over that 60 before the uh, compressor turns on and it calls uh, calls for cooling. That whole time, the optics will all stay within that one degree of that 70 degree Fahrenheit set point. Uh, in video, video number one, I made a little Freudian slip. The, the pumps are actually uh, three horsepower for the main pump for the laser. The optics pump is actually a half horsepower. I think I said three horsepower and five horsepower, so that was a mistake. Sorry about that. Um, when you do uh, when you do power this uh, this unit up, 460 volt, three phase. It is uh, it is rotation and phase specific. So the easiest thing is to either double check with the, somebody looking at the fan rotation from above, or the pump is labeled here for rotation. And if you have somebody bump the contactor, you can confirm that rotation test. Do not run the unit for more than, frankly, a couple seconds uh, until you have that phase rotation uh, set, uh, set correctly. So this unit has been running great. Um, as I mentioned, we, in addition to the cleaning, repainting and stuff, we did uh, put in a fresh virgin charge. Uh, a new dryer. In fact, we went ahead and labeled the date for the new dryer. Right and some new bearings on the pump. New filters here. Some work we did on the fans. Uh, some debugging and wiring fixing of the uh, uh, of the uh, temperature controller also. And we did another uh, a coat of um, black rubberized sealer on the bottom insulation for the tank. Again, that's where the heat exchanger is. Uh, so that's it for this one. Uh, this is Scott from KIG. Our website is KIGsales.com. Thank you.